Welcome to another exciting episode of Personal Transportation News. On our YouTube channel, we've got you covered with the latest updates, innovations, and announcements in the world of cars, motorcycles, bicycles, and other personal vehicles. From the newest eco-friendly travel innovations to the latest trends in urban mobility, we'll keep you informed. So, stay tuned for some thrilling stories as we delve into the fascinating world of personal transportation. Let's get rolling! TrackPod is known for their innovative self-balancing electric vehicles. The TrackPod 3 is their latest electric carving board model. The TrackPod 3 features a new compact and lightweight design at just 22 pounds. It uses special patented TRAQ tires that provide grip and stability when carving. This model comes with a 250W hub motor that allows it to reach top speeds of 15 miles per hour. It has a range of up to 7 miles on a single charge. The deck is made of bamboo and fiberglass to be flexible for carving yet strong. It uses smart self-balancing technology to make riding easier. Retail price is $499. This makes the TrackPod 3 an affordable option for an electric carving board compared to competitors. Early reviews praise the carving sensation, smooth acceleration, and portable size of the TrackPod 3. Drawbacks are the short battery range and lack of mobile app connectivity. Overall, the TrackPod 3 aims to bring electric power and advanced self-balancing tech to the growing sport of carving. Its unique tires and flexible deck enable carving enthusiasts to take their sport to the next level with an electric boost. The XOTO is a three-wheeled electric scooter that leans into corners and is aimed at urban riders and delivery services. It was launched by a California-based startup called XOTO. The scooter uses a patented system to lean up to 45 degrees, providing the stability of three wheels and the carving operation of a two-wheeler leaning into turns. The self-stabilizing mechanism is said to make it easier for new riders, and since it doesn't require a motorcycle license in the company's home state of California due to having three wheels, it's likely to see a number of beginners. Inner riders. The XOTO is powered by a 4000W front hub motor and has a top speed of 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour. It has a pair of removable batteries that offer a total of 4.3 kilowatt hours of capacity, which is enough for around 90 miles of range, 145 kilometers at modest speeds. The founder's edition is priced at $7,499. BMW has recently announced of their new Connected Ride Smart Glass. These smart glasses provide a HUD head-up display interface for motorcyclists, replicating the function of a head-up display in a car. The glasses display real-time data on key elements like speed, navigation, and gear selection within the rider's field of vision, avoiding the need to look down. The glasses can pair with a smartphone via Bluetooth with a dedicated app or be adjusted from the bike's handlebars. BMW says the glasses can be adjusted to fit various motorcycle helmets and face shapes. A version with tinted lenses can function as sunglasses and you can also get the glasses with 85% transparency to work with an existing sun visor. According to BMW, the connected right smart glass should be good for 10 hours of battery life and can be charged via USB-C. The recommended retail price in Europe is 690 euros, which works out to a little more than $750 at the current exchange rate. 18 will drive electric ATV that is being developed by a Finnish company called 18 Wheels. It is claimed to be the world's first 18-wheeled battery electric ATV. The company conceived its first prototype in 2021 and finished construction a year later. They set out with the goal of developing a vehicle that would have good mobility on all terrain types without damaging the ground surface. The second-generation ATV will retain the 18-wheel design but swaps the suspension to a more traditional style with coilover shocks providing much of the spring rate and adding damping ability. The vehicle will retain the ability to climb 7.8-inch obstacles and has more than 14 inches of ground clearance. The second prototype will be 92.5 inches in length and will be capable of seating two people. A load carrying capacity of about 400 pounds is shared between the pair of riders and cargo. On the topic of weight, the base vehicle will tip the scales at about 353 pounds, however battery selection is sure to change this figure superscript 2. The wheels are 6 inches in diameter and the 
ATV sports a massive 14.5 inches of suspension travel. It carries a 68 miles per hour top speed. The team is planning for two battery sizes, supporting four and eight hours of drive time with a goal of 124 miles of range. Unveiled in 2019 as a tribute to the Porsche 356 Speedster from the 1950s, design combines retro inspiration from the 356 Speedster with modern Porsche styling. Features a low, curved windshield, double bubble rear roof contour, and wide rear fenders. Powered by a high-revving 4.0-liter naturally aspirated flat-six engine producing 375 horsepower. Interior has minimalist styling with classic gauges and green dashboard accents. Uses lightweight materials like carbon fiber and titanium to keep weight down. Intended as a vision for a potential future Speedster model, not confirmed for production. Part of Porsche's heritage design strategy exploring its past iconic models. Showcases Porsche's focus on emotional designs and driving pleasure even as it moves toward electrification. So in summary, it's a one-of-a-kind concept that pays tribute to Porsche's sports car heritage through a retro-inspired Speedster design with modern performance and tech. As a vision concept, it hints at what a potential future Speedster model could look like from Porsche. Sealvans is a company that produces amphibious motorhomes slash caravans that can drive on land and float on water. The vehicles use a sealed, foam-filled body that provides buoyancy, allowing them to float. They have a water jet propulsion system for propelling themselves in water. On land, they can drive up to 100 km per hour like a regular RV slash caravan. In water they have a top speed of about 7 km per hour. Models include the Sealander, which is about 3 meters long and can carry 2 people, and the Longlander at 4 5.5 meters long and able to carry four people. Features include a driving cab, living space, kitchen, bathroom, and sleeping areas. The interiors are customized by the owner. They are designed for recreation and can be used to camp near or on the water. Owners can drive them to the coast slash lake and then enter the water to get to islands or secluded spots. Prices start around $150,000 or higher. They are a niche and expensive recreational vehicle option aimed at enthusiasts looking for amphibious capabilities. The vehicles are street legal in most countries, meeting automotive safety standards. No boat driving license is needed to operate them on the water. The primary distinction between the two versions lies in their dimensions and finishes, which are dependent on the size. The SEAL 4.20M is a compact version, weighing under 750 kilograms. It's specifically designed to serve as your other suitcase for shorter trips. Due to its smaller size, it's ideal for up to two adults. Alternatively, the SEAL 7.50M is intended as a family holiday vehicle as it accommodates up to three adults or a family of two adults and two small children. It resembles a conventional double-axle caravan on land, but its contemporary aesthetic becomes apparent with the inclusion of a panoramic windscreen and roof. It has a maximum permitted weight of 3,000 kilograms and an internal height of 2 meters. The SEAL 7.50M is powered by either a 50 HP Honda outboard motor or an electric propulsion system, providing options to suit individual preferences with a maximum speed of 13 knots. The ASKAA5 is a revolutionary vehicle designed to operate both on the road and in the air, making it a true flying car. The name ASKA is derived from the Japanese word for flying bird, which reflects its ability to take flight like a bird. It is made by ASKA, a Japanese aerospace company founded in 2018. Their goal is to make flying cars an affordable reality. The A5 is classified as a vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, aircraft. It takes off vertically like a helicopter, then the wings rotate forward for horizontal flight like a plane. It is a two-seater, electric aircraft powered by lithium-ion batteries. It has a maximum flight time of about 40 minutes on a single charge. Top speed is 160 km per hour, with a cruising speed of about 100 km per hour and maximum altitude is 914 m. The A5 made its first manned flight in 2019. ASKA is working towards type certification from Japan's Civil Aviation Bureau. The target selling price is $350,000 dollars to five hundred thousand dollars with hopes to lower the price over time as production increases aska has plans to build a network of small takeoff slash landing ports around cities to enable urban air mobility the aska5 is also the world's first flying car to receive authorization to drive on public roads from the united states department of motor vehicles dmv it has successfully conducted more than 300 miles of road testing around silicon valley with a dmv number plate while not yet approved for public sale and use the a5 demonstrates that practical, consumer-oriented flying cars are on the horizon as various companies work to make them a reality.